Hi there, welcome back to Pretty Much Flawless. Today in this video, we are going to be doing a review on a Decorn 7 inch digital microscope. Let's get into it. Alright, so here's the Decorn 7 inch digital microscope. So let's uh, let's open this up. Remember, this isn't sponsored, it's just me reviewing a product. So. Alright, so comes with a owner's manual here so I'll just look through that let's see shows all the buttons so you can see all right here how to install the bracket how to okay that should be fairly helpful to help us set this up so let's let's begin setting up so We'll take this thing out. Apparently this is like a remote control, but that's plugged into the machine, so that's interesting. It even comes with a little SD card, that's good. All right. Looks like in this bag it comes with a a disc of some sort, maybe to help set it up. What's this here? Microscope, let's see if you can see that there. Microscope micrometer calibration ruler. That's interesting. It comes with the disc. That's interesting. And this looks like a piece of rubber. Huh. All right. So after giving, getting everything out of the box and unpackaged, so yeah. So here, this is the arm that will screw into our base part right in here like this and that looks about good and then we'll tighten this nut on the bottom we'll tighten it down against the base just to keep everything nice and tight there we go and then we have this is this knob right here moves the arm or moves the section of the arm up and down the part that'll be holding the microscope so this is the tensioning thing, so right now it's this is very very loose, it doesn't have very much tension, so that'll just slide down like that, so we'll do, so I'll make sure that has tension, and that'll be good. And then there's also two nuts right here, that have a little bit of rubber on their end, so they don't scratch the plastic of the microscope here. So, we'll make sure those are unscrewed enough, and then we'll put the microscope part in like this. And we'll tighten both these nuts, or bolts down like that and there we go that's fairly simple to assemble so now we will start plugging things in so we have a USB-C connector here USB-C cable that came with it and then this adapter d did not come with it so we'll plug that into our 5 volt DC port like that and then we also have a remote here and we have something that looks like an audio jack, but it isn't. That goes on the key. I guess it isn't really a remote. It's like a corded remote. So this thing calls it a key. So there's also the included SD card here. So we'll put that in to the TF slot here. TF. There we go. And there's also the brightness control for this light here. And then on the bottom, Over here, we have a a brightness control for these external lights here, and also this plug. So, coming off of this key, there was another USB-C connector, and that goes right here at the back. There we go, so that should be everything plugged in. So we'll plug in this adapter to a plug, and this red light comes on. I guess telling us that it's plugged in and it's 
receiving power just isn't turned on. So we will hit the power button, which is right here. I guess you have to hold it for two or three seconds. There we go. There we go, so this comes on here. So there's a brightness control for this, for the light on the microscope itself. That's right here on the corner. And there's also the brightness control for these lights right here. So that is back here. And we can just turn those down or right off like that. So I'll just leave them off. So these arms, I guess they are kind of good. The only thing is they don't really stay in place too well. Like they kind of want to spring back a little bit. But So we'll go through some of the buttons and stuff on the screen. So on the furthest to the right, you have your power button. You have to hold that for two or three seconds for either turning on or turning off. Next, you have a, a button marked M. That is for menu, so you can hit that. And then that will give you all your different things. So let's see, this is res resolution, burst shooting, image quality, and sharpness. And there's also up and down and OK over here. So furthest to the left, there's up. If you want to go up, it will scroll through all these. There's down. And then there's also OK. So if you want to click on something, like resolution, that looks like a good resolution to me. So we'll just click that. So that's those buttons. And there's also, if you hit the menu button again, you can go over to into the settings. So you can set the date and the time. The automatic shutdown, screen protection. Like this is... This will shut off after, I guess, three minutes of an activity or something. So, that's interesting. Language settings, light source frequency. So, I guess just what frequency. So, up here in Canada, we have 60 hertz. So, I have that selected. And line assist. A few other, a few other settings. So, we can hit menu again. And then this, the menu will just go away. So, that's... And then there's also one more button over here. This is for taking pictures. So you can hit the picture button. And the, it says hold on. And then it'll take a picture. So, so that's uh, all the buttons on the screen here. There's also a reset button on the back. There'll be a picture shown on the screen now. So, yeah, also, you have your uh, remote control, or a key, as this calls it. So, this is pretty handy has pretty much all the same buttons on on the screen here and it also you can have it lying around so you don't have to touch the screen and wiggle it every time so we can go to we can change the setting so right now it's on picture mode so we'll be taking pictures if we hit this if we hit this button right here the play button and that will change over to video recording mode so now this will be recording a video once I hit the record button and then we can hit it again, and this will go. This will go into file mode, where you can just you can go through all the files you currently have. So, here this is another picture I took. This is of a actually this is a video that I took here. So you can hit OK to play, and this will play here. So looks like I wasn't doing too much on this video here. So, oh, there we go. All right. Said so you can go back. So, yeah. So you have picture mode where you can take some pictures. So let's say we were to hit this button right here. This is a camera or OK. So we, it says hold on, and then that will save the picture. So then we hit this button over here. It'll go to video mode, and we hit it one more time. And then it goes into picture mode. So I can just scroll through the pictures I've taken. There's this picture, this picture, and I took this video, and then this picture again. So then if I wanted to delete or any, any of these pictures, I would just hit menu. And then this would come up. There's delete or protect. So we can go down. Let's say I wanted to delete this picture. I would hit OK. And then delete current or delete all. I'll just press delete current. And then cancel and confirm. So, confirm that picture was deleted now. So now I just have two things on here. So I can also delete them all by doing the same thing: hitting menu, 
take down, okay, delete all, okay, confirm, and I just delete all of them. So that's pretty neat. Oop, wrong button. So go back to picture mode, we can take some pictures, and then in video mode, what we can do is we can hit the video record button, and then take a video, here's my fingers here, and then as soon as we want to stop recording, we hit this again, and that will save it, and then if we hit the uh, mode button, and we can go back, we can watch our video here, so we hit OK to play, there we go. And I'll show me with my fingers there. So that's on the button side of it. There. So if we zoom out a little bit, then we can take a look down and we can do some looking at some things. So we'll try looking at this chip right here. This is a AT Mega 328. So we'll put that here. There we go. Perfect. So what we can do is we can adjust the focus. This is the focus wheel here. So we can zoom out, and that's not helping any. So we can zoom in. And that's getting better, getting sharper, and that looks pretty good there. We can't quite read any of the writing. So what, what we can do is we can turn on these lights, these external lights here, and turn them up. And if we can just angle them just right, you can see we can kind of read the letters now. Oop, there we go. And I guess it's a little bit miserable with these lights, they don't stay in the spot you put them. So, there you go, you can clearly read the writing on the chip. So if we were to turn these external lights off, or let's turn them up, if we were to turn them off, we could, we could hardly read them, if at all. And then we could turn these up. Now that we know what everything does, let's try to take a look at something. So here, I have an Arduino Nano. So let's take a look at the chip on it, and let's take a look maybe some of the components on the underside. So we'll just take a look at it. So here we go. So we put it on here, and we can see pretty good right now the surface mount components, like those four LEDs here, and then we have the resistors for the LEDs, and then here is the chip. And if we move these external lights, we can kind of read the lettering a little bit better. Let's see here, if we turn up the external lights a little bit too, or turn them down, turn them up. That helps a little bit. Let's try adjusting the focus. Ooh, and that's pretty good there. Still not great, but I can def I can see Mega 32P, and then this other it looks like UTH. That looks like four nine or that three nine four. Right? Yeah. So some more writing on there. So we can take a look at some of the surface mount components on the bottom here. So. Here we have the USB interface chip, and we have the voltage regulator at the back here. This is upside down. We take a look at the USB port. That's a bit close. Let's see if we can zoom out a little bit. And it just gets out of focus. So you can also try moving the whole carriage, or the whole arm up and down here. Try moving it up a bit to zoom out a little bit. And there we go. That, that helped us move out a little bit. So, there we go. So, we can kind of take a look at the USB port. It kind of takes up the entire screen there. So, alright. Very interesting. Alright, so right now I have the microscope connected to the computer here. So, let's see. So right now on the screen we have mass storage PC camera or charging mode. So I guess mass storage would be we can access the storage here. PC camera would be that we're using this screen as a bigger screen. So if we want to use this as like a bigger screen or we want to have like this in front of a classroom or something and we need a bigger screen we can do that. Or charging mode is just simply where we're charging the battery in here. I wasn't quite sure this thing came with a battery, but that's interesting. All right, so let's try mass storage. So we'll take this and we will hit OK. Mass storage. All right, let's see if we can find this thing here. 
your devices already view. All right, open folder to view files, and it has a separate folder for the videos and a separate folder for the pictures. So that's interesting. All right, so it looks like you can access all the files from from your microscope to your computer, which is good. Very good. All right, so now that we can get access to these files from our computer, what we'll do is we'll record a few things with this, and then I'll put it in the video, just this, what we're displaying on this screen, on the video here. So this doesn't record any audio, so I'll be using my camera's audio, and then this video, I'll just put them together. So let's hit the record button here. See, we're in the wrong mode. We'll get into video mode and three, two, one. There we go. So here we are. Here's our Arduino. And then I can zoom out or in. I can dim these external lights and see how we like it without them. So right now they're off. So it's a difference. We can turn them back on. Up again, this is maximum brightness. So that's pretty interesting. So we can move the whole arm thing down, and that brings it out of focus. So we can zoom back into focus if we want to have like a really good look. Let's say we want to zoom in on this surface mount LED. We can zoom in on that. Zooming way in. There we go, that's pretty neat. That's a pretty close up view of an LED. The surface mount LED here, and there's a resistor. There's the reset button, which it looks huge. And then here is the chip, which is huge. And here's the USB port, which looks huge here too. So we'll zoom out there. Alright, so wrapping up this review, I think the Decorn 7 inch digital microscope works fairly well. There's a few features I didn't cover in this video. There was a software that came on the disc, and that software was, I assume, for plugging in your microscope to your computer, and then your computer does all the recording and picture taking, I guess. And also, I didn't try connecting the little screen to a bigger screen. If you'd be interested in that, let me know in the comment section down below. I can make a part two of this review. So, it works pretty good for my application. My application would be looking at surface mount components, while I'm soldering, desoldering, and also it's very nice that I can record that and show it to you guys on the screen, which is very handy, something I wanted so I could make better YouTube videos. So it is on the lower end. It is a, not the cheapest, but a cheaper microscope, but it works very well for my application. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching this video today. Hope you learned something. If you did, please subscribe. That would really help my channel. And I'll see you next time.